I'm Barry Dietrich. I am an instructor of surgery in the Division of Cardiac Surgery in the Pediatric Cardiac Surgery Program. I trained in surgery at the University of Michigan. That's where I did my fellowship as well in cardiac and thoracic surgery, as well as an additional fellowship in pediatric cardiac surgery. We take care of patients with congenital heart disease. Uh, anywhere from the first day of life all the way up to the hundredth year of life. If they were born with congenital heart disease, we take care of them. This involves both operating on complex congenital heart defects, patients born with only one functioning pumping chamber of their heart, to less complex but still uh, technically challenging defects involving connections in the heart that aren't supposed to be there, malformed valves, malformed great arteries, uh, as well as taking care of those patients uh, before they have an operation and in the intensive care unit uh, after they uh, have had a corrective operation. I was drawn to pediatric cardiac surgery in particular by the uh, opportunity to make an impact on the life of a child and to take care of patients with really challenging physiologic problems as well as to have the opportunity to take care of a patient really from birth throughout their entire lifespan. There are more people living with congenital heart disease than there have ever, ever have been before. There are now actually more adults with congenital heart disease than there are children being born with congenital heart disease. Uh, the numbers vary, but somewhere between 1 and 2% of the population are born with some type of congenital heart defect. A lot of those won't require operation, but a lot of them will. Uh, and so we like to remind people that congenital heart defects are still the most common form of birth defect. And they're fortunately, because of all the great work that's been done by the surgeons that have gone before us and the cardiologists that have gone before us, there are things that are now amenable to corrections that can give patients who otherwise would have died in infancy uh, a very long uh, life, and in some cases putting them back on a uh, pathway that would give them a lifespan that would be considered uh, normal for any other patient. I became a congenital heart surgeon because of my mentor at the University of Michigan, a doctor by the name of uh, Bob Bartlett, who is known pretty well throughout the pediatric cardiac community and throughout the uh, entire world uh, as the uh, surgeon who invented what we now know as ECMO, or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. But he was someone who really taught me that uh, surgery is uh, the care of the patient, it's not just doing an operation. And that, that meant uh, taking care of the patient in the ICU as well as afterwards and you do whatever you need to to take care of a patient. And it was his experiences doing this as a resident in the Brigham Hospital in the 1960s that led him to develop ECMO for patients who had had congenital heart surgery that otherwise wouldn't have survived. When they first started working on that project, Patients who had had congenital heart surgery frequently wouldn't survive after being on the bypass machine. And it was thought that being on bypass was a lethal process within four or six hours. And so building on other research that had been done, they developed membrane lungs and were first able to get animals to survive for 24 hours, then 48 hours, and 72 hours. And he first started applying this to patient care in the early 1970s. At the time, it was pretty roundly rejected by pediatric journals and surgical journals and all types of medical practitioners, but through persistence and refining it, uh, he was able to take a technology that was really uh, considered heresy at its inception to be something that's now standard of care in intensive care units for patients, both neonates and uh, pediatric patients and adult patients throughout the world. My research is really built on uh, what he started in finding better ways to uh, promote extracorporeal circulation so that you can allow the heart and the lungs when they're injured to recover so that patients who otherwise wouldn't survive because of their severe heart and lung injury uh, can be kept alive and uh, allowed to go home and, and live a normal life.